because there is a parent killer on the loose and I'm so angry. Uh, how can somebody just kill parents and try to catch them? Hey beautiful CVPs, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to this very, very important video. If you haven't watched my video from yesterday, please go watch because there is a parrot killer on the loose and I'm so angry. Uh, how can somebody just kill parrots and try to catch them? I'm just so heartbroken, especially the wild parrots. So if you haven't watched it, go back and watch that video. It's on the news. So I'm heading now over to Temple City. I'm in Pasadena. This is like a 20 minute drive and I'm gonna go look at the situation, assess the situation. I have my drone. I'm gonna fly my drone and look at those parrots. I hope I will not see dead parrots on the floor. If I see dead parrots, oh my gosh, my heart will be breaking for them. Um, anyway, um, I got a knife, I got a scissors, I got a cutter to cut the nets, but I don't, I didn't manage to get a letter. I wanted to get this 30 feet letter that my neighbor is gonna, um, borrow to me, but I couldn't get it out by myself. Plus I still have my sciatica. So I'm going to just go down now and, um, assess the situation and see what we need and where we are at before taking the letter down um this guy is insane he's killing and stealing parrots like he's putting up traps it's so disgusting like how can you be such a disgusting human being he puts up traps probably to uh, catch them because he wants to sell them i mean the amazon parrot is a lot of money and this economy is really shitty right now anyway and all these wars anyway so he's catching parrots but many parrots die. And you cannot catch wild parrots. They will never be tamed. They don't know better. They will bite off your finger. They are wild creatures. And they are protected by the Fish and Game Wildlife Association. So I'm just gonna um, try to um, um, cut down. I, I really wanna cut down all these nets. Um, so I'm gonna just go over there, fly the drone, and I'm gonna make public, I'm gonna make this go viral. Like, I'm gonna post it on every news station. And if you guys can share this video, please share this video. This is essential and extensional for those parrots. They don't have anybody than us. They need us. They need us. Because we are the protectors of the parrots. Angelic parrots. Anyway, I also asked some neighbors to come out and help me. Um, no neighbor has yet agreed, but I put the post out there calling all the neighbors together to come out and help me because I'm by myself right now. My husband is at work. He can't do anything. I'm by myself. So I'm just going down there as a brave soul I am, as the brave soul I am, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna try to save the life of a parrot one by one if you can save one life you can save two if you save two you can save three if you save three you can save five ten how many parrots are there but i hope it's not too late i hope they're not dehydrated because they are getting stuck in the nets and they're getting dehydrated in the net and it's a very very painful death to die it's not okay not okay at all i'm right now here in las tunas let me see I put my glasses on. It's so sunny. I don't see any net. Go look. This is Las Tunas. Maybe they took it down already, which would be really good. 
Here we go. I'm gonna go into the shopping mall. park my car right here and walk down that shopping mall okay I don't see any nets let's go look at the trees in front of the shopping center oh and birds jeez move I have somewhere to go I have some parrots to save Okay, let's go out and assess the situation. Okay. So, in front of the shopping mall, this was it. This is the shopping mall. I don't see any net. I don't see any parrots. I don't see any dead parrots. There's the net. Okay. You could see there's one net. I don't see any parrots on this tree. But guys, you can see right there. White strings looking down from the tree. So it must be here. Gosh, these claims were true. That guy stole parrots. You can see there is the trap. You could see there's the trap. He would hang it from this tree all the way up to this tree and make the parrots go into the trap. Check this out. See guys? That's the trap. Right down there. All right, let's cross the street. Right here, guys. Here's the trap. Wow. This was here. Wow, look at this. Look at what he did. You can see all the lines. Okay. But I don't see any dead parrots. No dead parrots here. Society or the Fish and Game Wildlife Association took it down or something because there was a huge outcry. Here's no dead parrots. I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Um, I do see leftover like net and strings on trees like here, which that's where the crime happened. This is a crime scene right, right up there. You could see all the evidence of what this shady, idiot, evil, disgusting guy did to the parrots. He would, he would hang a string, a trap from this tree, from this tree to this tree, right across here. And if a parrot fly in, they would be caught and they would be so distressed and die and screaming. And he would come and just snatch them away. Um, that guy must be very athletic because look at those trees. They're really high up. He must have climbed it. 
to put all the traps across. I don't know how he did that, but he must be pretty alethic, that guy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I don't see any dead parrot or any net or parrot hanging in trees. So they have cleaned it up pretty good. Let's cross the streets before the cars are coming. Okay, I'm so relieved, guys. I'm so relieved. Oh my gosh. Wow. You can see really there the evidence of the crime scene. It's crazy. I mean, who, which human in his right mind would do something evil like that? I hate humans for that. I really do hate humans for that. Humans is the biggest predator on the earth. Ugh just so annoying just hearing the screams of that poor parrot just makes my heart ache and cry but yeah so here's no net there's no dead parrot everything looks normal I think they cleaned it up yesterday because I saw on um, next door that people were saying that there was um, the Humane Society and they did report it like neighbors did report it but I hope he doesn't set up his trap somewhere else if this guy did it once he's gonna do it again I hope he doesn't do it somewhere else I hope neighbors will report him and just be aware I think that's it yep that's it let me go back to the car, it's pretty chilly. <laughs> and if you guys don't know it, I'm always freezing. That's why I moved to California, sunny California, because it's nice and warm here. I'm always freezing. Okay guys, so the city has removed it. I was looking at the feet of next door and people were commenting that Humane Society was there yesterday. The department, the California Department of Fish and Game was there yesterday. And they, re they with the police and Humane Society, they removed the net. So I also saw on the app that somebody says he got arrested yesterday. So I'm so happy guys, this was it um everything went to the favor everything went to the favor of the parrots as it should be because we are the parrot cops um i'm so so glad that this was a good outcome and that the city responded fast usually they're really slow to responding but this is animal cruelty and everybody who just hear the video where the parrot was screaming in that in that net um, must have a heart for the parrots because this is really painful to hear just because of greed he will probably he probably wanted to he probably caught them to sell them to make money so that's what I'm thinking of because why do you want to like catch wild parrots unless you kind of do the illegal pet trade to sell them you know so that's my take on it but anyway everything ended up to the favor of the parrots because of good and good neighbors that were so because of good neighbors that were aware and they posted online and people there was an outrage and people were just like outraged and disgusted by it including me but i'm so happy everything is good and the net is cut and now we can continue with our lives okay guys if you like this video give us a thumbs up and also comment like just give us a thumbs up even if you don't comment just give us a thumbs up okay guys so this lady carly from next door just text me that there's another net down the road at pentland so i'm driving now down pentland to look if there's nets and if that got removed too she just says that every day he puts out more and that there was a, not just one net and one trap, but multiple nets. So I'm driving right now down there to look. So you were here two mornings ago? Yeah, we were there. We've been coming every day to look, even in the night, but I can't really see it at night. How long has this been going on? It's, I, you know what, I'm not sure. I just saw that post on Nick's door 
um, like three days ago. So every day we've just been out here looking for the ferns. Wow, so three days has been going on. Mm -hmm. And it was right here? I'm sure it's longer, but somebody just noticed the guy the other day right here. That was that here bird. in this spot? Yeah, he was here in this spot. Arrested or something. I know, huh? but they're saying there's no laws against him. I mean, what happened to animal cruelty? I know. Animal, you know, just being a humane person. Come on. I thought there's a fine for like getting wild animals. They're trying to say no, there's no fine for capturing wildlife, but there's, I think there's certain laws. I think somebody has a lawyer with me. Did you, were you here yesterday when Humane Society was here? No, I wasn't here yesterday. I was here the night before. Okay. And, and, and you saw dead parrots all around? Yeah, there's dead parrots in the trees, and I think they took them down. There was a dead parrot uh, in the trash can somewhere. Really? There was somebody, I think there was somebody from um, maybe one of the parrot rescues, and they saw a bunch of dead birds. We were going to go look in trash cans right now, see if we see any. Oh. But we live close by, so I'm just going to come and look to see if we can see nets, because yeah. you can climb those trees pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, they are really like low. Like you just need to be a little fit to climb them. Like it's not. Well, yeah, like he a can get up that tree even without a uh, ladder. Without a ladder, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I climbed those trees before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he was little, he. Because I have seven parrots. Oh, do you? Yeah. You know, I used to have a parrot. Um, I got it for my son's birthday years ago, and he had like a little metal thing on his foot. Oh. And I took it to the vet because it looked kind of tight, and the vet killed the parrot. <laughs> what? Trying to take it off, he said, "Oh, I gave him too much, uh, too much medicine to youth too." Sedation? To sleep. Yeah. I go, oh, what? Did you kill my parrot? I love Sam. What's Are your you name? Yeah. What's okay, your name? I'm Caroline. Oh, 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 Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Sam. Nice to meet you. That's you Cleo. Just, did you see any down there, Sam? No, I don't want down there. What's oh. down there? I just want to see. Oh, I see him. They're right there. Where? Alive ones. Oh, oh. Flying. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them here. Did you see it? Did you see a net? No, oh. not a net. Just parrots flying alive, oh, yeah. as it should be. Yes, it should be. There's hundreds. I mean, they've been here for decades. Yeah, I got uh, aware yesterday because of a friend. Uh huh. She she um she texts me and she was like, "Look, Caroline," and I was like, so outraged. Yeah. A lot of people on that app say they care, but I, you know, after a couple of days, I think they're just gonna forget. Yeah. And then they have all busy lives. Yeah. Work and stuff. Yeah. But you can take a few minutes on your day and come see if there's. Yeah, I myself, I have two Amazons. Oh, do you? Yeah, and then oh. three macaws. Oh, okay, really? so here's nothing. No. And he usually has, I'm not sure how he gets them up there. Some people said can, and some people say he just shows them. Them. But throws them with the water bottles, but you would be able to see the water bottles hanging down. But how can you even trap them? I don't get it. Like, yeah, I don't know how. He must he, be very, very sophisticated. I this don't guy. know how he gets them down without breaking the net. Yeah, but he had that one in his net the other morning. So yep. Good thing right. that neighbors like were good aware. Thing she saw him and filmed it all. Yeah, good thing they have his license plate. But there's, I mean, I think there's several posts on that next app. People are just reposting and reposting. Which is good. Yeah. To make people aware. I think they run from these trees to that. They run from here to here. Now, the trees are all stuck together. That's where yeah. you put them. And they're pretty low, too. Yeah. So sad that... You got a water bottle off the other day, remember? It was hanging on the string. Yeah, so as long as he can't catch the water bottle, I mean, unless he has a really high ladder, too. the city I, I emailed every organization i could think of i emailed the city i emailed the tree trimmers oh wow that's I you i emailed PETA. yeah good for you i was thinking about yesterday doing it too oh yeah i did everybody good for you <laughs> yeah i don't think there's any more up here yeah they must have gone down the city yeah because the city manager's office somebody named um i think her name was Ileana. she emailed me back and she said the city is working with the sheriffs and the humane society to get them down oh, oh, That's that's a wing feather. Mm. You know how many parrots got killed or stolen? Just that one alive that I saw. But I'm 
sure those birds, the seagulls, are getting trapped in their tree. They're yeah, smart they're though. <laughs> yeah. They're really smart. But they can't see the net. Yeah. No, I will catch anything. The net will catch anything. Yeah, I don't think there's any more. Let's go back. Yeah. We'll come back. We'll come back in the morning. I thought they, um, somebody says like channel four was yesterday here. Yeah, channel four and channel five. And they I think, out. oh, and then they were on the radio stations too, KFI and KNX. So people, I mean, I'm sure people are aware now. Yeah. Okay. You can't just be hunting in the middle of a city anyway. Yeah. And then that other guy on that, on the other post said he's out there. He's out there with his slingshots. And if he's not in the city, he has his four ten barrels. I go, what are you doing with those? What? <laughs> To, to do what? Crazy people. I don't know. What's he doing with the birds, though? Is he eating them or is he selling them? What's he doing with them? I don't know. Selling. It's, I think his selling. economy is so bad right now. He's a parrot like that parrot. is like a thousand dollars. So he's probably. I don't think a wild the, parrot is a thousand dollars. Not a wild parrot, yeah, but they can use it for breeding. It's like even out in the Midwest, a wild, like horses are a couple grand, but a wild horse isn't worth anything. Right. A wild horse will kill you. Yeah. I hope that parrot. Like it's not it's kind of like a feral cat how yeah. they just won't yeah but it's hard people to even if you get two three hundred dollars for them oh, yeah. like you must be really desperate yeah, well, don't hurt the oh there they are life ones oh yeah there's hundreds they're so beautiful sometimes those hundreds of them buy a house every now and then some people hate them because they squawk so much early in the morning but don't kill them please yes i agree Oh, well, my house is so loud. Is it? <laughs> Seven parrots. <laughs> yeah. You have as many parrots as I have cats. You have seven cats? I have a lot of cats. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you, Carolyn. I know. I'm nice meeting you too, Kathy. Oh, thank you for being so aware and protecting thank you for the coming out too. And um, we'll making everybody aware. Time. Yeah. Hopefully he's not on the loose. I know. So he don't do it again. Because... Oh, yeah, 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 All you right see? There. There's a net. Weird. Green oh, one, but it's broken. Oh, it's broken off. Oh, I have a stick in my truck. Oh. Broken off. The net is broken. Damn, but it can get that. The stick can get it? Yeah, but it's broken. See, it's broken already. It's like Don't we don't need to get it or what? 